Hi everyone. I'm a little behind on my videos. I've been sharing um, a collection of channeled messages from the Council of Nine that I'm calling Essays that have been put together into a book and so I've been sharing some of these just so people know what the Council of Nine is saying that we need to be doing in these times to continue to move forward in our growth and prepare for ascension. And this is essay number eight. It's called What is Love? So normally I, when I do videos I'm channeling directly but because these were received there's actually 96 of them in total. So I'm reading these but I'll soon start getting up some channeled messages from Archangel Gabriel as well so you can watch for those. What is love? And so today we would like to speak of love. It seems to be the theme of the day. This was based on a group meditation that I had done that same morning. And what a wonderful and wondrous theme it is. Wondrous? What does that mean to you? We use the word because we feel the word love is deeply misunderstood in the times in which you live. Actually, we could say that for most of the history of humanity on the earth, love was misunderstood. Love has been many things. It has been used to bound people together when they could hardly tolerate each other. It has been used to abuse people and claim it is in the name of love. It has been used as protection so that you don't have to be alone in the world. It has been used in almost every manner but the truth. For what is love? You cannot see it, so is love like faith? You cannot see faith. Is it dependency? Is it giving of yourself to someone else? Is it adoration? Is it lust? None of these are the truth about love. So let us talk about the truth of love. We can say that very few of you have truly felt love, the love that comes without any conditions. Where is this love? Well, dear ones, it is in a place where you seldom look. It is like going into the attic and looking for something, but giving up because it is too dark and there are too many cobwebs. Love for many is hidden so deeply within the heart that there is no true understanding of what it is. And so where do you find it, or how do you find it? You find it by having the courage to search. You find it by having the determination to clean out the cobwebs and peer through the darkness until you see a glimpse of it. Like a frightened child, it slowly begins to show itself. But how do you know it is love? What do you look for if you have never known what love truly is? This is the key to your discovery, and this is the key which we wish to make clear to you this day. To find true love, you cannot look to another. You cannot decide who you are by what others respond to. Real love is the love of yourself. As we invite you to ask, and so we invite you to ask, do you love yourself? Do you ever condemn yourself, or compare yourself, or scold yourself? or judge yourself? Of course you do. Your society has taught you very well how to self-manage your brilliance by burying it under guilt and shame. No more. The time has come for you to learn to love yourselves, but it will require much discipline. It requires years of unlearning who you are. However old you are, that is how many years you must unlearn about who you are. For you see, the messages that you were given from the time of birth have written your script for who you are. Your parents were wounded. We can safely say that to pretty much every human on earth. So their vision of you came through a cracked lens. How could they reflect back to you the purity and grace of who you are when they were looking through cracked lenses? They could not. Therefore you must unlearn everything that they created you as. And you must unlearn everything your friends created you as, and everything your co-workers created you as, and everything your partner created you as, and everything your children created you as. Are you getting the picture? You have to search deep within yourself, way past the dark shadows and cobwebs, to find the truth of who you are, which is pure love. 
You were born onto this earth as pure love, and the moment you were born, that love became diminished. We wish you to know that now is the time for all of that to change. The world requires empowered people now. There is no time to wait. And in order for you to become empowered as who you are, all the false ideas of love and the false perceptions of who you are must be erased so that you can shine your true brilliant light out into the world and be all that you came to be. You will see this happening slowly. It is a huge mission for humanity to make this shift. It will begin with the new generations who demand that they be respected and seen for who they truly are. They will be labeled as rebellious, good for them. They have to be rebellious to hang on to their deep inner knowing of who they are. No longer will the children of the earth sit back and question who they are while society tries to decreate them. They are clear as a bell about who they are, and they will not allow anyone to stop them from wringing their true being out into the world. But you can help. You who are reading this can help all this along by first looking with great courage at what you believe about yourself. Catch all those critical thoughts. Explore where you feel guilt in your life. Be honest about what you are angry about. Look inside and explore all those things you believe about yourself or where you gave up your truth for the sake of someone else. Look back and find ways to release it. There are many healing modalities that pull the old belief systems out of the body. Find them and use them so that you can find your way back to your true light. This is the beginning. The next step is to understand your children do not think you have anything to teach your children other than not to run out in front of traffic. Anything that you teach them based on how you were raised will only diminish who they are. And the world does not need or want any more diminished people. So see them in their own innate wisdom and honor it. Ask your children questions instead of telling them what is. Ask them what they think is right or wrong for them and then give yourself time to truly consider it. This does not mean that you allow your children to run the household with no boundaries between being a parent and a child. This is not what we are talking about. We are talking about hearing your children, honestly with an open heart, and then deciding what is best. If what you decide is best is different from what your child has shared with you, explain this to your child so they clearly know why their inner knowing was not followed in this instance. It is important for them to understand this so they can learn but also know that their thoughts were seriously considered. You see, they come with much wisdom and less forgetting about who they truly are. When their truth and self-worth is diminished, they become discouraged and must act out in other ways to be seen. There is so much that is changing and it all starts with love. We will speak of this subject more in the future. Our channel is becoming tired at this time and so we will let her go, but we wish for you to have a deep understanding of what we are relaying here through this message. And so it is. And so if you uh, would like any more information about this, you can look under this video and there are details.